Bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And in this video, we are talking about Gillian's Knives Bearings. So they're Gillian's new ceramic caged bearings. And he makes some pretty amazing bearings. He also makes amazing knives. So he's a custom knife maker that recently started doing um, bearings. He They're basically made by hand. They're CNC, like cut and then hand flattened. Everything is sourced from the USA, which is amazing. Hey guys, if you guys are interested after this video and getting any of this stuff, all his links will be below in the description right at the top. So definitely go uh, check them out, talk to them, and figure it out, um, your size bearings or whatever you want. If you have any questions for me, you know where to leave it. So I've done a handful of knives. One being the hinder. We have, I'm just going to start off with a few and then we'll talk about some more because I have to do them in separate sessions. And then at the end, I'll have a summary of what I think about them, you know, and when they're good, when they're not, blah, 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 blah. So starting with these three, okay, starting with these three, a Tucson, a TS-129, the QSP Hawk, and the Hinder XM-18 Triway Pivot, 3.5 inch. Now, starting off with the Tucson. The Tucson already has cage ceramic bearings. They're in plastic cage ceramic bearings. Um, they, they're really good bearings already. And these run on a racetrack, meaning they have a, um, a steel washer that has a track around the edge that's made for the bearings to roll on. So they already have incredible, incredible action. So to be honest, after um, putting the bearings in this one, I, I noticed a little bit, but it is a very minute bit of difference with this specific knife. And I'll show the, the bearings that it did take and the size and everything, but I, I do feel a tiny bit of difference, but not, not that much. The, the action on these are already absolutely incredible. And there's going to be knives where it works out better and some where they don't. You know, it kind of just depends. Now, moving along to the QSP. Um, I have a recording before of the action of it because the bearings, you could hear them rolling before. And this is the bearings that it had before. And I'll actually show you the, the exchange between the, the bearings that were in it and the bearings that I just, that are in it right now. Now, if you watch this video of the action, you can actually hear the bearings rolling. Now, if you heard that, you could really hear the bearings rolling out. Now, I know some of it probably had to do with, because it's Damascus, right? So, but after replacing the bearings, you do not have that sound no more. The sound went away. Very, very smooth. It still kicks just as hard, but I don't feel or hear the bearings like I did before. Before, when I went like this, you could just, you could hear and feel it. I mean, you could just hear the bearings really rolling and you could really feel them. Now I don't, even though it's still Damascus, but the, the bearings made all the difference in the action. If that would be something that would annoy you, if feeling the bearings rolling, um, then these bearings could possibly just absolutely improve that. I mean, night and day difference. And, you know, it, because of that feeling, which I, it's, I'm not saying that feeling really bothered me, but it did kind of give it a little bit of a janky feeling. And this is a good quality knife. I'm not saying this knife's janky. Don't, don't mistake in my words. I'm just saying feeling the bearings rolling then going to this where I don't feel the bearings rolling, it 
it makes it feel like a better quality knife. It really does. It makes it feel a little more solid. Um, and you can hear, you, I mean, I can feel the difference. There's just, you know, you just don't, um, you know, the detent's obviously still the same, but you just don't feel that, that, that play, I guess, between the bearings or just the feel of them rolling. So great improvement on that. Now, steel bearings, because we went from plastic cage ceramic bearings to, uh, ceramic brass caged open face caged bearings open face meaning you see how they're open on one side two now steel bearings and i'll show the difference between the ones i threw in and also let's check out a video of the action before because i gotta say the action on this one was already amazing okay so it, it's not easy to improve the action i had on this i'll be honest the, the action is about as good as it can get but i thought the same thing with the the micarta handles i had on here i had micarta handles on here and i thought the action was as good as it could get then i put a titanium scale on here and <laughs> the action improved like crazy which like i said i only, i didn't even think it was possible because it was already so good now let's look at the action before Now, the action after, if I want this action to be nice, slow, and controlled, now this is something I didn't get before with the steel bearings. If I want this action to be like the hydraulic type of action, I can have that. All I have to do is just create a little more tension on the pivot, and I can have that before I couldn't have that. Because what would happen basically is that if I tightened it down, it would just be slower action, right? Just slower. Um, not meaning slower. Let me, let me rephrase that. It'd be tighter, right? Just really tight. Um, or I could have it drop shutty, not even drop shutty, fall shut action. So it was between fall shut action or tight action. With this, I can have fall shut action or like, so, so, and I have no play. Like I'm just barely turning this a little bit. Zero play, still locked up, as solid as ever, right? And it's just, it can be fall shut action. Now, I can even make it faster by giving it a little less. If I'm actually turning it. Just straight fall shut action. Now, like I said, I can have it be a hydraulic action by tightening it up just a little bit, which either way, there's no play. A very nice controlled drop, which I like. Now, I can slow it down even more if I want to. And I actually really like that because sometimes, you know, fall shut action, it's like, eh, you know, sometimes you just rather have, sometimes you like fall shut action. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you really like that fall shut action, but then sometimes that nice controlled, that really hydraulic feel where it's just a consistent drop all the way down where it doesn't speed up or slow down. It just kind of, slowly drops and when it gets to the detent it just clicks in i really like that type of action so and let me say this i have a friend that after seeing my first video on these when i did the unboxing and talked about them he went and bought some from uh gillian and me and him we talk basically every day but he uh you know he got some for his hinder and he's loving them. Like, he just loves that hydraulic feel to him. And let me just say, before I state that, he really loves Teflon washers. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, that's the type of action he really likes. That that glassy, smooth um, action, you know. And so, him having them in his, you know, he's not really a bearing type of guy. So, and he loves it. 
Like he just really loves that hydraulic feel to them, which I do too. You know, it's hard not to, you know, it's hard not to. But one thing I did notice is that I can control it if I want the fall shut or the hydraulic shut, which like I said, I couldn't really get unless if I switched the bearings all out. Like if I would have switched maybe to the the phosphor bronze or the Teflon or something, maybe I've always had bearings in this though. So I really don't know. But um, but between the two bearings, between the steel bearings and the ceramic bearings, you know, it's um, there is a difference. Because, you know, and obviously it's between steel and ceramic. And then also a steel cage. I think I got them right here. Um, or I showed a picture of them in the video. Steel caged bearings with a steel cage with the bearings are steel versus. Uh, uh, br uh, brass or bronze uh, washer with the ceramic bearings, you know, encapsulated in there. So, you know, the flatness, just everything, the precision made bearing, it's going to roll better. It's just, it's just gonna, you know, there's just, it's a big difference in quality. Now, with the Civivi Riffle. Um, it was the same hardware as, or the same bearings, basically, that the QSP Hawk had. Um, let's see here. These kind, right here. Same kind as that. And I'll show a picture of the what I switched it to. And let's take a look at the action before. So the action before was good. It was really good, actually. I mean, I mean, really impressive action. But now I can really, I mean, it's it's a lot more drop shutty. Um, but another thing is that it's hard to explain this, you know, like the type of feeling you have in the knife before and after. Do you know what I mean? It's... It's very hard to put it into words, but it is definitely smoother and uh, more glassy, way more glassy. Even on like my slow roll, like it's it's very different. Um, the drop is more fast now, and then this is the thing though, is that the bearings that goes into these are actually the slower set of bearings. Because, and I'll go over that in just in just a minute, because there is a difference um, in the bearings. So, and I'll, I'll go over that in a second. But it has the slower kind of bearings. But in the action of the, di or between the difference, it's still very controlled. Right? It's still very controlled if I want it to be. But it has a different level of smoothness that it didn't have before even though these are incredibly smooth knives i mean anybody who's had a civivi knows that they are very smooth but even like when i disengage it and i go to you know slow roll it i can really feel it in my thumb how much faster i can do it and um how much less friction i have even though it never had friction you know but you can take something that feels frictionless and make it just a little less frictionless or whatever, a little less friction, and it's it's a world different. And even with the detent, when I pop it, it feels like it has a little more power in the action. And that's probably because on the way open, you know, it's just it's so much more glassier. So then when it does hit the stop pin and the lock bar engages, it you know, it hits harder. Now, with the drop, it's still controlled, like, you know, if I don't really try. But it's also extremely 
drop shuddy if I wanted to be, which it was before, but it's the level of effort that you put in. So like when I do this, that drop right there, the level of which I flick my wrist and how much pressure I put in. And I was really trying to pay attention to how much effort I'd have to put into doing that, how many shakes or how aggressive my shakes are. Now, I know one of the questions are going to be, can you put bearings in a phosphor bronze knife? Uh, two things. One, I don't recommend it. I do not recommend that. Um, there's a few reasons why. And, you know, one, they're very, very thin and it's, a, you know, they're tighter. With the bearings, you usually have a pocket milled out for the thickness of bearings to roll in. Um, two, the surface of where the bearings roll might not be set up for bearings. It might be set up for something softer, depending on what it is. Now, if you are like, no, I, I, I want bearings in this damn knife. Okay, okay, settle down. Um, I'm sure you could possibly talk to Gillian and have something custom because it's going to have to be thin, okay? These are thick. The bearings that I have here are thick, so I wasn't able to replace any. Um, but the thickness is going, and the ball size is going to have to be very small, okay? So, and I, I'm sure he can, I don't know. I'm not talking for him, but there might be, I know, I know there's very tiny ceramic balls, so you can possibly get some very tiny ceramic balls in a very thin, um, brass setting. Cause I know that's been a massive question because that's what everybody's wanting to do. They want to put bearings in their phosphor bronze knife. Okay. Well, you got to figure out the thickness of your phosphor bronze and your dimensions and everything. And then I'm sure something can possibly happen. It's just they're, they're going to be very, very small ceramic balls. That's what I have to say about that. So, all right. So, the summary. So, now let's talk about what I was talking about between this having the slower bearing. So, the ones with more bearings. So, let me just grab a couple really quick. <clears throat> so... The kind, I got them in a knife right now, so I'm just going to have to maybe show a picture. But the kind with less bearings, the difference between, say, having this many bearings versus more bearings, right? So more balls in a circle. It's tighter and less drop shutties, not as smooth, but in return, it's stronger uh, because you have more points of contact. So the more points of contact, the stronger it's going to be. Um, and then the, the less amount of bearings. So when you have um, less bearings in a circle, the smoother it will be. But it might not be as strong. Now, I don't think it's very or much weaker, but it's definitely going to be smoother. You're going to, it's going to be more false shutty, more drop shutty, possibly more hydraulic. Um, but like I said, even when I did that with, you know, one of the knives, it, it still improved. It was still an improvement. Um, now there was, uh, like I said, the Tucson, I didn't feel any improvement really. And the little improvement I did, it's so little that you're not really going to notice, but you might, cause I guess it depends on the knife, right? With the one I did, I did it. Now I have felt some Tucson's that where you can feel the detent ball rolling on the satin finish. Um, in that case, that's the detent ball. Now, if you can tell it's not the detent ball like if you move the lock bar out of the way and you can still feel the the bearings rolling on a set on the satin finish uh, or the machine lines from you know it being made then yeah it might possibly um make a huge difference kind of like with the qsp hawk but all in all, I think if you have ceramic caged bearings and they're really good quality, then you might feel a big improvement. You might not. Now, if you have steel bearings or 
if you're feeling friction or anything like that, then I think you're going to have a massive improvement. If, um, if you have, um, I, you know, also, let me say this too. I forgot to say this. So the white, the white ceramic bearings, they're all, they're the same hardness, but the white ceramic bearings are almost clear. But they are slicker than the black ones. So um, he calls it the salt and pepper bearings. I personally like the salt and pepper bearings a little bit better, you know. And uh, maybe it's because they are a little slicker. But, uh, but you know, yeah. I, I also noticed that open caged bearings tend to get stuff in them. So, like, when I took some out, like, I noticed... Um, from a knife that was new, you know, I didn't, it, it couldn't have got much muck in it, but inside that trapped ca or the, the open face cage, it had gunk in it already, you know, and that was from the factory, you know, like these type because it's open. So stuff can get trapped in there and it's hard to get out. It's not easy. Yes. One side is enclosed, but the other side's not with these. And here's a representation of one with more balls, and here's one with less. You see how they're tighter together? Uh, they might be the same amount of balls. They're two different bearings, but I'm just showing you how these ones are tighter together, and these ones are a little bit more spread apart. So the ones that are tighter will be a little more slower than the ones that are spread apart. But these are, aren't going to get gunk trapped in them as fast as the open caged bearings. Of course, right? I mean, that's just, you know, obviously because it's open. So stuff's going to get in there with these. They, they're trapped. So both sides are identical. There's no open face for stuff to get in there. If anything gets on, it's going to be on the surface. Wipe them clean. You don't have to pick them out. And another thing with these kind of bearings, I've had probably four times a bearing pop out. Um, I've had them I've had them come straight from the factory where the holes where the bearings were popping out weren't even all the way punctured where the bearing wasn't even fully exposed. I've had them uh, like I said I've had them I've had them like stay in there but they're not in their spot like where this bearing is right there instead of where it's supposed to be I've had that you know happen I've had so many things happen with them I don't like them open cage ones to be honest. These, that can't happen. You don't have to worry about that. So, um, you know, there's, there's much more improvements to these than just the smoothness. You're also talking about the level of which it gets clogged or the level of which it gets gritty or how easy it is to clean out. So, man, I'm loving these things. Definitely, if you guys are wanting improved bearings if you have a knife that has steel bearings or even ceramic bearings or open face bearings or you know or maybe maybe you just want to try these out definitely gillian um i can't i can't i can't um you know shout them out enough um love the guy uh usa usa makes you know he makes everything usa made he gets all his parts from usa um that's obviously one big massive thing but not even just that it's also just you know good quality stuff man you, you, you can't when you get it and you see it in hand you know these type of bearings and then you throw another set of bearings next to it i mean it's like yeah you know better quality so what you can kind of understand some of these production knives are you know they're, they're they gotta source parts for less money you know, they're trying to bring you a knife at X amount of dollars and every little piece and every little cent and every little dollar count. But in this case, you can get your knife and you can order your set uh, of, you know, custom bearings and put it in your beautiful knife. And, you know, if you can figure, you got to figure out the size though. That's the thing. I tried showing the size of the bearings I put in each one of these knives. Now, I did notice that the Tucson and... <clears throat> The Tucson and the Hinder were the same size. Um, I did notice the QSP and Civivi were the same size. You know, I, you, you just got to figure it out. Talk to them. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions for me, 
or if you're curious of any size bearings, if I know, I'll, I'll let you know. All right, guys. I love you guys. Um, I'm leaving all his links down below. Peace.